So hi, everyone. Uh, welcome back to our BRAG, Brazilian Algebraic Geometry Seminar. And uh, today it is a very great uh, pleasure to introduce uh, Margarida Melo from the University of Roma 3 uh, that uh, is presenting a talk entitled Tropicalization of the Universal Jacobian Logarithmic and Non-Archimedean Viewpoints. So Margarida, whenever you want, Okay, thank you very much for, for the invitation. It's uh, really a, a big pleasure. It would be only better if I would be there with you, but uh, it's, it's good enough to see you guys uh, around. So, um, so this is, um, I'm gonna talk about the joint work with uh, Sam Ulcho, Martin Ulrich, uh, Filippo Viviani. And uh, for the really last part of it, I hope, to be able to get to that. It's gonna be also with Jonathan Wise. So there's a there's two papers, one is on the archive and the other one is, is not yet on the archive. And this is the part where Jonathan is also with us. Uh, okay, so uh, I'll start by um, telling you about the compactified universal Jacobian and the, the version of it that I will be uh, wanting to tropicalize today. And uh, so, I wrote partially my notes before, so I will just some some of the things I have already already written, and then uh, I'll complete the notes as I go. Okay, so uh, we fix for the talk g and n integers such that two g minus two plus n is bigger than two, and then uh, the object uh, the universal Jacobian is uh, for me is gonna I, I I will be denoting it with uh, j uh, g n. Uh, is um, over MGN. Uh, so I'll just remember uh, to you, recall to you, which are the, what are the points that these are objects parameterized. So here we have curves together with N uh, distinct marked points. And uh, then the universal Jacobian is gonna be a parameter space for, uh, so for smooth curves, again, with markings and a line bundle. And uh, so it has just a forgetful map onto MGN. And uh, so this is, this is what we call the universal Jacobian. And uh, so the, the, the compactified universal Jacobian is just uh, so some universally closed uh, space that completes the diagram here uh, as a commutative diagram. And um, for me, so today, what we will be considering, so again, uh, let me, um, yeah, again, no, I didn't remember, uh, I didn't recall what MGN bar is. So these are, this is the moduli space of stable curves with an N marking. So this is a parameter space uh, for curves together with uh, N markings, but these curves are maybe uh, nodal. So these are called N pointed stable curves of genus G. So this means that C is nodal, as I was saying, and the automorphism group of the curve fixing the points is finite. And uh, as you know, so this can be phrased uh, in a different way by saying that whenever you have a, 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 a a rational subcurve of your nodal curve, then it has to have at least three um, special points where special means nodal or markings. Okay, so um, for me, the JGN bar today is gonna be, uh, so, and I, I will be considering also some variants, some variants of it, but for most of the time, so this is gonna be parameter space for n pointed quasi-stable curves. And uh, so these, these quasi-stable curves are curves obtained by uh, from stable curves by uh, inserting some exceptional uh, components at some of the nodes. So these are uh, so meaning obtained from a stable curve by inserting some rational curves at some of the nodes, sometimes we say blow up. And uh, so this, um, these rational curves are, are called exceptional components. And, uh, 
And the other condition is that, so, and then you consider a line bundle over the curve and you ask that this line bundle should be admissible. So this L admissible, this is the only condition I, I ask now uh, for, for the moment, which, is, uh, which means that uh, when you restrict your line bundle to the exceptional components, then it must restrict as a, a, PO, a P1 of one. So it has degree one on exceptional components. And this is all that I'm asking for the moment. Uh, so, so let me just make a picture here. So if you so consider like a stable curve with like two markings, for instance, here. So possibly we could have uh, in JGN bar something that is uh, obtained from this curve by saying, for instance, inserting an exceptional component um, uh, above this node here, P1, P2. So this is the exceptional component. Let me just uh, use like this blue too. So this is gonna be our exceptional component. Uh, so it is isomorphic to P1, meeting the rest of the curve in, in exactly two points and with no markings. And uh, so the, the morphism that we have here is all, almost a forgetful morphism because it's, so it, it really, so you, you take a curve, a line bundle, and you uh, consider, and you forget about the line bundle, but you have also to stabilize the curve. So with CST, uh, I mean like the stabilization of your curve, which means you just contract the exceptional components. Okay, so this is the, the object I will be considering today. Sometimes we will consider uh, the, the, the connected components of this where you consider a fixed degree for your bundles. So this is, so I will use this notation. JGND, meaning that this is, these are going to be curves, points, and the line bundle of degree D. So these are the connected components of these. And uh, this also carries such a uh, decomposition, the compactification. So I'm going to have this JGND. Okay, so uh, I want to tell you about the properties. I uh, will be focusing on this. So the first thing is that uh, JGN bar is an algebraic Artin stack uh, that uh, uh, satisfies the existence part of the local criterion for properness. So, um, and well, to get this result, there, there's work by many people, but um, what it doesn't, so it, it has some, some drawbacks. And one of these is that it is not a finite type. And uh, well, of course, uh, this, this is of course expected as we have this decomposition on the degrees, but that's not the only problem. Even if you, fix, even if you fix the degree, uh, you, you get something which is not a finite type as well, because you know, you just, uh, if you, even if you fix the degree, you're gonna have like the multi degrees of, on your components, which are, uh, which have uh, like, where, where you have also infinitely many, uh, possibilities for choosing. And uh, then this is not the linear Mumford as well. And this is also the case, even if you uh, rigidify by the action of the G, by the scalar multiplication of GM on the fibers. So not even after rigidifying by this action of GM and it's not separated. So uh, what we do normally is uh, in order to consider uh, like a better behaved space where you have like maybe these properties holding, then you consider some uh, subtext of these where these properties might hold. So, and this is what we sometimes do, even though, uh, as, I, as I said already, so in the talk, we're gonna use a lot this big art in stack uh, even even though we're gonna uh, say uh, along the way uh, which properties are satisfied or no or not when we consider these, these subtexts, so we consider subtexts of uh, uh, of J, G, and bar where these properties might hold. And, uh, uh, and this is done usually by imposing stability conditions. Uh, 
Okay, so uh, my stability con my stability conditions are going to be um, are, are going to be in the setup of of Cass and Pagani. So what uh, what is the what is a universal stability condition? So I I want to 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 impose conditions on the on the multi degrees of line bundles over MGN bar. So this should be some um, polarizations or like this is going to be a numerical polarization that lives on uh, that is well well defined for curves in MGN bar and compatible with specializations. So it so it varies continuously uh, on MGN bar. So uh, in so more precisely, so uh, a universal stability condition is a, a, a morphism uh, from um, assigning to each curve in MGN bar, uh, assigning a number to its, to its irreducible component. So to each irreducible component of your curve, you consider, uh, you, you assign a real number such that the sum of all the real number of all these numbers for the irreducible components of your curve of your curve is an integer. And you, you ask that this is done over MGN such that when you specialize curves, the, um, the, the, the polarization, the numerical polarization goes with the specialization, is compatible with the specialization and also compatible with automorphisms of your curves. And then you set uh, out of this uh, irreducible component, uh, out of this, sorry, out of this stability condition, you set uh, JGN phi bar, JGN bar phi, which is the moduli space of param parameterizing all elements in JGN bar. So I forgot about L here. So, sorry, so this should be black. Uh, so these are, uh, elements in JGN bar such that L is phi semi-stable, meaning, uh, meaning that the total degree of L is the total degree of the, uh, of the uh, stability condition on the curve, which was an integer, remember, and such that for all subcurve of your original curve, you have this inequality being satisfied. So the degree of L on each subcurve minus the stability condition on the subcurve, which is uh, the the sum of the of the uh, stability condition on on the irreducible components that live inside Y, that this should be uh, not not bigger than the number of intersection of Y with the rest of your curve divided by two. So this is something that you I'm sure you you saw a lot um, in different settings, and then. So I'll just now uh, write some properties I want to remember either for the big JGN bar and for the, 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 the substacks uh, th that I just mentioned. So one is that um, JGN bar phi is connected finite type and universally closed. And uh, if phi is generic, so if the, the stability condition is generic, and this means, uh, so let me just be, say this by saying that this means that phi semi-stability -stab will coincide with phi stability. So as usual, when you ask for this uh, inequality to be satisfied, if it's smaller or equal, then you say that it's phi semi-stable. And if you want stable, you just ask for strict stability to be satisfied here. So if phi stability and phi semi-stability coincide for all, uh, for all a curve in MGN bar, then you have that the, the, the rigidification of your stack by this by the action of the scalar multiplication of GM. So I'm, I'm just taking the big stack where I don't uh, mod out by the uh, scalar action of GM, but if I do it, then this, uh, this is a proper, a proper stack and the Lee Mumford. And it admits a projective good moduli space. And it admits 
a projective good moduli space. Um, so let me just make a, a, a small remark. So in this case, so in this case, meaning that if you get, uh, if, if, you, if you have a, a, a universal stability condition, which is generic, so if phi is generic, then uh, actually this universal compact phi Jacobians, JGN bar phi can be realized by um, a, a stability condition associated to a Stavis, to, the, to, to the construction of Eduardo Stavis. So then um, universal compactified Jacobian uh, can be obtained by uh, via or by um, imposing uh, let me write it this way, is a stability condition, which is, so you can cook up this phi out of a vector bundle um, on the universal, on the universal curve. So J bar G N uh, phi is gonna be isomorphic to J bar G N E, where, where this E is a vector bundle on the, on the, um, on the universal curve. Plus one. Okay, so um, then, um, and I'll, uh, so let me just uh, complete the, 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 the properties I want to remember by uh, also talking about the boundary of the compactification. So JGN bar is smooth as a stack and the boundary uh, is, is normal crossings, even if it's not simple normal crossings because you have like boundary components intersecting, but it is normal crossing. Is normal crossing divisor, and uh, and the the compactification is what we we'll call toroidal. So is a toroidal compactification. Uh, so being a toroidal compactification, it comes with a with a stratification, and this stratification is very important for the talk. So this is what we're going to use uh, to. Um, to describe uh, non like to 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 give a modular meaning for uh, tropic tropicalization of this of this object. So let me uh, talk to you about so the the toroidal comp the toroidal stratification of this compactification. So toroidal means that you have that locally your your compactification is like a torus with a toric like the torus inside the toric variety, and so you get um, out of the toroidal compactification strata, and in our case this can be described using uh, with using easy combina combinatorics, which is going to be uh, given by a graph and a, a, and a divisor on the graph, which is. Uh, a multi-degree uh, of the line bundle. So given, remember, so our JGN bar is a mod, is a moduli space of uh, curves with points and uh, line bundle. So I'm gonna define the combinatorial type of this to be uh, the dual graph of your curve. Let me just identify see the points we just see, just for simplicity. So this is a graph um, where you consider for the components, uh, edges for the nodes, and legs for for the. And this is going to be and mates or vertices correspond is not zero. And uh, by DAG underlined 
L, I mean the, the multi degree of L, which I'm going to see as a of the curve. This is called the combinatorial type. So let me just uh, write, write what I just said. So G of C is the dual graph of C. So this is a weighted graph of genus G, where you just uh, put weights on the vertices according to the, to the geometric genus of, your, of the corresponding component. And the uh, deg underline of L, I'm going to see it as a divisor on G of C. So this is just a formal sum on the vertices of your graph. And it should be admissible, meaning just what, I, what we said in the beginning, meaning that uh, the degree, uh, the, the, this divisor should, should, should be of degree one in all exceptional vertices. Uh, so the degree of L on vertices of weight zero, which are exceptional, should be one. So for all V vertices on, the, the, on, on your graph, exceptional vertices, exceptional vertex, meaning that it is a weight zero vertex associated to a, an exceptional component. Okay, so this is uh, the combinatorial type of a point in your JGN bar. And then uh, by, by uh, uh, organizing your, um, your points in the boundary using the combinatorial type to, 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 uh, like to put them on, on uh, locally closed subsets, you get uh, a stratification, you get the post set governing your stratification. So set, uh, could if so this is going to be a category for me which will govern the, the 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 which will govern the stratification of the boundary so this is the category whose objects are pairs g d such that so g is a quasi stable graph of type GN and D is admissible which we just defined. Um, so this is um, this is a category with these objects and uh, I will also uh, I will also refer sometimes to us to the sub subcategory uh, associated to a universal stability condition, where I just say could give of a GN of phi, which will parameterize again quasi stable graphs, but I ask for the divisor to be phi, phi semi stable, where phi semi stable just means that it satisfies the, the inequalities that you can imagine on dual graphs. So this is really numeric. So. and phi semi-stable. Okay, so let me add some page here. And uh, okay, so, so these are the objects of the category. So let me just say also what are the morphisms. So morphisms in Kudiv GN. So these are gonna be morphisms of pairs. So a graph, a divisor mapping to another graph and a, another divisor uh, such that, so pi is a morphism of, gra of weighted graphs of weighted graphs. So being a morphism of, graph, of graphs means that you can have contractions and automorphisms. So like, com, com, uh, like combinations of these. So pi is, uh, uh, con, uh, is combined by weighted contractions. Uh, it's a combination of weighted, weighted contractions and automorphisms of your of your uh, of your graph, and it should be um, you should preserve the the, the divisor. So uh, the when you push out 
not the divisor via the, the morphism pi, you should get the divisor d prime on the other side. Okay, so, um, so let me then set the, the properties about the toroidal stratification. So this toroidal stratification follows this poset or this actually, it's not really, so it, what describes the, the toroidal stratification is not only the poset structure, but, but it's categorical, it, it, it is a category where you really have to take into account the different morphisms that you have between strata. So the toroidal stratification of uh, your compactification uh, uh, is like this. So you, uh, and also with this, let me also introduce notation is the, uh, so you get the stratification out of elements in the category. And uh, so where JGD means all the um, all all the elements in uh, in uh, uh, in JGN bar which have combinatorial type equal to GD, so where J uh, GD is like the sub stack of JGN bar parameterizing curved end line bundles of combinatorial type GD. And, uh, um, and again, so if, if I want to talk about the, the substack where I consider uh, the only the, 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 the line bundles which are phi, phi semi-stable, then I'll just have to restrict to, uh, to Kudiv GN phi. It, and it, you get the, the similar, uh, the similar um, picture. Uh, so moreover, uh, moreover, the poset of structure of structure is uh, anti-isomorphic to the poset associated to the category. So uh, the poset could give GN, and with this I mean that uh, when you consider uh, one specific structure strata, sorry, so this is G, GD, is a, is a strata. And if you want to close it up, then this is gonna be uh, described by uh, strata that are smaller dimensional. But if you look at it from the point of view of the ball set uh, itself, then these, these are gonna be bigger. So these will map to GD in the category, meaning that where, so the poset uh, structure that you, uh, that you, that you put on could even mean is that one, uh, one strata is bigger than the other. So one, if, if, uh, uh, if there's a morphism from one to the other. So this is when you say that G, G prime, D prime is gonna be bigger or equal than GD. Okay. So, uh, so this is what I wanted to say about the, the universal uh, Jacobian, the, the algebraic universal Jacobian. And now, uh, so out of this uh, description of the toroidal compactification, it's natural to look at the tropical universal Jacobian. And uh, so I'll just, I just did uh, one, a, a page too much here. So, so the tropical universal Jacobian for me, uh, so in the setting I'm, I'm going to use here is gonna be uh, a category fiber in groupoids over rational polyhedral curves. So uh, let me just uh, re recall you that, uh, so with RPC, I'm gonna be in the category of rational polyhedral curves. So objects of this category are gonna be uh, are, are going to be uh, like uh, are going to be parameterizing rational polyhedral cones. So actually, you have your cones associated to lattices. So uh, so it, the object should be seen as pairs. But we will forget about the, the lattice, and we will just uh, shorten the notation by saying just sigma. 
So this is uh, so um, a lattice and a, a strictly convex rational polyhedral cone, which in some tensor product with R, so the vector space. And associated to the cone, you have uh, its dual monoid, which is just uh, the homomorphism monoid of the sigma intersected with n to uh, the natural numbers. So this is called uh, the dual monoid of, of your cone. Okay, so this is just the, the, the categorical setting where we're going to construct our tropical universal Jacobian. So this is the, the category fibroid in groupoids over uh, rational polyhedral cones such that, so I, I have to say to you, which is the fiber over each, um, over each cone. So if I give you a cone uh, sigma, JGN uh, drop over sigma is gonna be a category, so a groupoid, whose objects are gonna be described by uh, tropical curves over the cone. And with this, I mean, uh, I mean, so tropical curve over a cone is something where you have an uh, underlying graph and a generalized metric. So G of gamma together with B. So the graph underlying your uh, tropical curve over a cone uh, together with the divisor is gonna be some element in your categorical, um, in your, in your, in your, category could be GN, in your category of, of combinatorial types. And then you have D, which is a generalized metric. So this is something that you define on the edges of your, of your graph. And uh, so your, your, the usual definition of a tropical curve is that you associate to, uh, to, a, to an edge of your graph uh, a length, so a real, uh, a positive real number. And here, uh, if I want to do this in this setting of, of categories over rational polyhedral cones, I cannot, I, I, I have to do something a bit more general, which is I associate to uh, an edge of your graph, an element, a non-zero element of the dual monoid of your, of your, of your um, cone. So remember your cone has a dual monoid, which is uh, still here in the screen. Uh, so this is where the generalized metric lands over, uh, over non-zero elements of S sigma. So this is called the generalized metric. Okay, which could be the case, which could be um, the, the non-negative real numbers. Um, but in general is something that can be any non-zero element in, in your dual monoids. And then morphisms in the category are gonna be given by, um, so, so this is, these are now pairs, remember? So a curve uh, over a cone and a divisor. And so a morphism is gonna be given by a morphism in the category of rational polyhedral cones. So this is something, a morphism, between the, the cones, which respect, respects the inter, integral structure. And, uh, and the morphism in, so, and the, and the and, uh, morphism in the of categorical types, meaning that you map graphs and divisors to graphs and divisors according to what we saw in the category Kudiv. And plus I ask for this uh, to have, um, to be compatible with the, the generalized metric. And this means that if pi, if your morphism of graphs contracts an edge, then this should be uh, the case that F upper star of the, of, the, of the generalized metric should be zero. And also if you have pi mapping E prime to E, then you should have F upper star of D gamma prime of E prime equal to D gamma E, where F upper star is just the induced morphism of F on the dual monoids. So you have F on the, on the, on the cones and you have uh, F upper star on the dual monoids. All right, so, uh, and then, um, okay, so this is the, so this is the, the tropical universal Jacobian. So it's this category fiber 
over uh, rational polyhedral cones. And uh, it makes sense to consider stability conditions and construct just subcategory by imposing these stability conditions, it is just a no problem. Uh, okay, so I will denote by JG and drop phi the, uh, the set, so it's, it's the subcategory of JG and of JG and drop where I just consider the divisors with respect, which respect the stability condition and everything else is the same. And it's, a, it's the full, full subcategory. So the morphisms are just the same. Okay, so the, the first result I want to, to present here is just something that uh, um, follows the, line, the lines of, uh, of the, 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 the uh, similar result on, uh, on the modelized space of curves on MGN. And it's, it's, the, it's the following. So JGN drop and its sub stacks, which remember we considered so far JGN D drop and JGN uh, phi drop, meaning with a uh, fixed degree or with a stability condition. So these are what are called con stacks. So I will not say precisely what, it, what this is, but it's just something that is uh, like some geometric context to make the uh, stacks in uh, rational polyhedral cone complexes with face morphisms and like good morphisms, good maps here. Uh, well, uh, this is just something that, so this category of cone stacks is uh, too isomorphic to a category that is maybe uh, easier to understand. It's the category of combinatorial cone stacks. And these are rational, th these are categories fibered on, on groupoids over rational rational polyhedral comes with face morphisms, and uh, which is something that, uh, that is just given by, uh, by this blue construction here. So this uh, JG and drop as a combinatorial cone stack is just the, the, the thing that uh, is, uh, the is the category of fi fibroid in groupoids starting by uh, your category of combinatorial data. So could if G and op mapping to rational polyhedral cones with face morphisms and uh, um, where you uh, assign to any uh, combinatorial type the usual cone in um, with with uh, a, in the real number so it's r uh, bigger or equal than zero to the number of, of edges and the maps is the inclusions of faces that you may have seen so this comes with a uh, uh, with a map to MGN drop. So this, this, this construction was first, so let me just write this here. So this follows the same strategy uh, used by, uh, used by Shen, Cavalieri, uh, Ulrich and Weiss in uh, the case of MGN bar. So in this uh, drop, in where, so this is the original paper where they constructed uh, tropical stacks uh, for the modular space of, of tropical curves. And there uh, they also make, make the, the whole construction about, the, made, made, made precise all of these categorical constructions. And one of the features of considering JGN drop like this as a, as a cone stack is that uh, you really, get that it that it, it it gives you like a representable morphism over mg and drop that recovers your tropical jacobians without having to mod out by automorphisms meaning that if you consider a stable curve over rational polyhedral cone then you get the modular the associated modular morphism to mg and drop and if you consider the cartesian diagram uh, over this modular map. So if you just consider, make the Cartesian product of this diagram, what you get here is uh, the, the, the Jacobian, the Jacobian of the Jacobian of your of your curve. Sorry, just lost my notes. The Jacobian of gamma bar over sigma. 
Uh, and if you, instead of doing this as a, a, as a category of fiber than group, or sort of in this setting of, of cone stacks, what you would get here if you just consider the, the, the cone complex structure is that, so you would get the Jacobian of your curve modeled out by the automorphisms. And uh, in this uh, setting, you really get the whole Jacobian without having to, to to, to, to mod out by, by the automorphism group. So um, what I wanted to, to, to do, uh, what, we, what the aim of our work would, was to give a precise meaning for this slogan, which is JG entropy is the tropicalization of, uh, of, the, of the universal Jacobian, of the classical universal Jacobian. And this slogan is made precise within these two settings, which is non-Archimedean geometry and logarithmic geometry. So I'll just uh, try to uh, explain to you uh, the precise meaning of this slogan in these two settings. So first, let me talk about uh, analytic uh, tropicalization. So for this, I uh, need to consider JG entropy as a generalized extent cone complex, which is the usual construction that you might have seen for JG entrop. So, um, so this is, but, but I, I need to, to do this here because I need to have a topological space. So in order to have a topological space associated to JG entrop, what we do is that we consider generalized complex and its compactification, which is uh, the co-limit of uh, over the category of codif GN of cones associated to, to, to the to, to, uh, tropical curves of that uh, combinatorial type. And then uh, you have to consider also the compactification where you consider the lengths of your of your um, of your curves to be uh, also maybe infinite. And uh, then using this, um, so this, this is a gen generalized complex, so it has a topological structure. And uh, then we can construct a diagram of topological spaces, which now I want to explain to you. This is a, this is a modular diagram, so the, 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 the maps are modular. So first, let me, uh, so what we do. So we start with JGN bar. And we construct this space here. So this is the topological space associated to the bet analytification of JGN bar. So what's this? So usually you might have seen the analytification of, uh, of some um, proper stack. Uh, now what we have to do is something a bit different because uh, remember, so if we don't take any stability condition in principle, this might be, so this is actually always an art in stack and it's not, uh, it's not proper. So we have to do uh, something which is, uh, which is a bit more general, it's the better litification, which in, which in the case where we will consider like phi, uh, the, phi the sub stack of phi stable objects, then this is gonna be the same as the analytification. So this is just some, some, something that makes this work over art in sticks. So uh, the points in this, in this bet analytification parameterize equivalence classes of maps of uh, spec R onto JGN bar. So you, where, where R is just uh, rank one, rank one uh, evaluation ring containing your original field, containing, uh, sorry, containing K. And uh, up to uh, our equivalence relation. So you think of these, uh, of these elements as uh, families of curves in, uh, as families in JGN bar. And uh, uh, so, so let me just make a picture for such an element. So your, you have like spec R, which is one dimensional, and then you have zero point and eta. And so you think of your uh, central fiber to be more uh, singular, and then maybe you have a general fiber, which is less singular. 
So this is this is an element of your uh, of your beta nullification. So an equivalence class of this. And so this maps to uh, so that so there is always the the beta nullification comes always with a, the, a reduction map to your art to to the to the topological space associated to your uh, art in stack, which is in our case, it's just considering the point associated to spec R modeled by the maximal ideal, and its map onto an JGN bar. So again, here we should take equivalence class. And uh, uh, okay, so uh, so this is the, the left hand side map it has no problem. And I should say to you, how do we define a map to JGN uh, drop? Okay, so this should be, uh, so there should be a way to define uh, out of such an object a uh, tropical curve with real uh, with real length. So remember, so with this straight, so this is straight, meaning so this is the generalized con complex associated to the stack. So this is remember, so this is the limit over uh, all elements in the category for this GN, where you have uh, um, lengths, positive lengths, real lengths in your curves, and which could also be infinite. So what's the map here? So uh, I'll associate to such a morphism, the dual graph. So this, this should be, this should, so I should have a combinatorial type and I should have uh, a length, which should be real in this, uh, in this situation. So I'll just take the dual graph of your central curve of your central fiber and the generalized metric that I will define. And uh, the divisor is just the multi-degree of uh, the line bundle that you have associated to the central fiber. So, so yeah, an element in this family also comes with a line bundle, of course, because you have a family on, a, on JGN bar. So, the, the, so I have to say to you, what is the, the, the metric? So over edges of, of the dual curve of your central fiber, you have to assign a positive real number or maybe infinite. And what you do is that you zoom in. So the dual, uh, the dual graph of your central fiber has edges associated to vertices, uh, sorry, to nodes. So consider a node here. So then you associate to a node and uh, to, to an edge associated to a node and E, the value of the valuation over R of Fe, and I have to tell you what is, who is Fe, where if an E is a node of C0, so you just, uh, so, so it admits, so admits a local equation of the type x, y equals to f, e, where f, e is an element in your ring, uh, which is not a unit. And then uh, you associate to, uh, you associate to, uh, to, the, to the edge, to, to the edge uh, corresponding to this node, the valuation of your uh, ring R on, um, on this element of your valuation. So you have to actually consider the, the extended con complexes, meaning that you have to consider also infinite and you go to infinite whenever you have, for instance, something like this, like a node, which is not smoothened, then you get a valuation, which is infinite because it should, it should have local parameter zero. Okay. And um, so properties of these, such that properties one. So the reduction map is surjective and anti-continuous. And uh, the, the tropicalization map, so the map on the, on the right is surjective and continuous. And you, you have compatibility with stratifications. Uh, 
meaning that the, the inverse image under the reduction map of some strata is uh, also uh, the, the, the inverse image of the tropicalization map of the, uh, well, the uh, analogous strata on the tropical side. And the substacks and, and also compatible with the, the substacks that we mentioned. It's substacks where you fix the, the, the degree or you fix a stability condition. And uh, uh, so the second point uh, is that the tropicalization map coincides with the, the retraction map, with the retraction map onto the, the skeleton coming from the steroidal structure. So if you have a steroidal compactification, you also have, you, you always have an intrinsic skeleton, which is a generalized con complex onto um, the skeleton uh, of the toroidal uh, structure associated to the toroidal compactification that you're dealing with. And this was constructed, so it's, it's really the same retraction construction constructed by, by Marco and Alex or the contrary, Alex and Marco, uh, for uh, in, in where, where you consider the substex where you fix a stability condition. And, uh, and, and the third point is that this diagram commutes with the similar diagram for, for the moduli space of, cur of curves, with a similar, with a similar, diagrams for MGN bar and MGN bar drop and everything. And these diagrams were constructed by Abramovich Caporazo Payne. And so you have um, the forgetful morphisms and the tropical and the bad uh, versions of the, of the morphism, everything sits in a, in a commutative diagram. Okay, so let me tell you by, about the logarithmic tropicalization in the last mi minutes. So, um, so now we change the category. Sorry, this talk is like many different categories. So we started with the algebraic category and then we talked about the, the, the cones text category, then the analytic category. And now uh, we have the, the, we have logari the log uh, logarithmic, logarithmic schemes and then logarithmic stacks. So uh, just let me uh, just say something about the terminology. So with L schemes, I mean uh, the, the category of logarithmic schemes. So remember, so this is something uh, that is, um, so a logarithmic scheme is just a scheme with the tie the note with the underlying, uh, with X underline, which is the underlying scheme to the, to the logarithmic scheme and the shift of monads where you have some compatibility uh, required, meaning that you have a morphism of shifts of monoids between the shift of monoids of, uh, of your logarithmic scheme and the OX, which is an isomorphism over, uh, the, uh, over the, the invertible functions of your uh, regular, of, of, your, uh, of, your, uh, of your OX. And uh, um, let me also uh, introduce the, uh, the notation for what is called the characteristic monoid, which is uh, denoted with mx with a bar, uh, and which is just obtained by mx modding out by, the, by, by the, the part that comes from invertible functions. Okay, so this is the, um, the category where we construct logarithmic or the logarithmic uh, universal Jacobian, which is denoted like this. So JGN log is again, a category fibered in groupoids, but over uh, logarithmic schemes. And so I have to tell you who, is, uh, who are the fibers of, uh, uh, of, uh, over, some, over such a logarithmic scheme. So JGN log over a logarithmic scheme is made by pairs X, S, and L, where X, S is a log smooth uh, morphism and which has an underlying 
um, morphism of schemes, which is GN quasi-stable, meaning that so the, the uh, underlying scheme uh, uh, of, your, of your log um, curve is just something that is, is of the type that we considered before in JGN bar. And the, uh, we have an admissible line bundle on the underlying scheme. So the first thing that we uh, showed, and, but it's something that comes easy from the point of from well um, from the point of view of logarithmic geometry, is that uh, so this logarithmic scheme is representable by the logarithmic algebraic stack, which is the the stack associated to JGN bar the the one the our universal compactified Jacobian with the Shift of monoids uh, associated to um, associated to the boundary of JGN bar. So this this is the monoid sheaf. So this is the monoid sheaf. The monoid sheaf of regular functions of regular functions, which are invertible outside the boundary. Invertible outside. The boundary of so the boundary of um, the boundary delta j g n bar. So meaning that uh, uh, that this uh, logarithmic stack is really the own stack of um, of logarithmic stacks onto this uh, this this logarithmic stack. And so what did we show about this uh, about this in, in this setting? So this is the different setting where we give a comparison between JGN bar and uh, uh, JGN bar and um, the trop in the tropical version of this. So uh, to be precise, uh, it, this is uh, uh, so I, we have to consider here a slight. So I, I put a tilde a tilde here because we have to consider this object up to an uh, two isomorphism. So this is a, a Nartin an art in fun, which is somehow associated to JGN drop, the one, the cons tech that we saw before. And uh, so let me try to explain the, 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 the picture here. So what's this? So this is, remember, an object here in JGN log is a, a log curve together with an admissible line bundle. And I just mapped to our, or, Structure about log structure. So the line bundle doesn't see the log structure, and uh, then uh, when uh, when when it, it comes to go to the right, so what do we do? So consider your your curve over a scheme, logarithmic scheme, and uh, using the local description of the sheaf of monoids in your in your uh, in in the fibers of of your log curve. We know that over a node, so over a node, so let's call this node N. So the characteristic monoid of your family in this node is isomorphic to M bar S uh, in uh, the file in, in the image of the of the node. So let me just write pi of N to be more precise. So you get the monoid structure in the node out of the monoid structure in the base plus, uh, plus two factors where these two factors are associated to a smoothing parameter uh, like this. So this delta N is some element in your characteristic monoid of the base in this point, which is not zero. So what we do is just something similar to what we did before in the, in the non-Archimedean picture, which is associating to this. Uh, so a point in JGN drop would be just so uh, the dual graph of your, uh, of your, of, of the, of, of your fiber, uh, a generalized metric and a divisor such that the generalized metric is associated to this smoothing parameter that you have locally in the node. So you start with edges of your of your fiber to the to the to the characteristic monoid. Oh, sorry. So this should be characteristic monoid of your base. 
in the point and with no zero and you just associate to the to the to the edge associated to your to to your singularity the smoothing parameter that defines locally the monoid sheath and then uh, the divisor is just the multi degree of your line bundle over s and this is compatible with the tall spe specialization so you get that so you get that um, jgn drop is an art in fun and uh, it is um, it is associated it is the art in fun associated to the tropical universal jacobian uh, let me just I, I thought yeah so yeah I, I thought I wrote this before and it's 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 it is like this so the um, the J, JGN bar so this should be a tilde here is the, the R constructed cases so it is associated by uh, it is associated to our um, the, to the tropical Jacobian that we saw before via a two isomorphism which is uh, which goes from context to art in fun so the, it is the art in fun associated to the tropical Jacobian view as a context and it's some it's somehow intrinsic because you have um, a, a general construction where you construct out of a logarithmic uh, stack an art in fun and what we uh, get uh, and it, it's the same picture that was already obtained by uh, Cavalieri, Cavalieri, Sean, uh, Mol, um, uh, Martin Ulrich and Jonathan Weiss for MGN bar is that when you construct the art in funds associated to this logarithmic um, to this logarithmic stacks you get an isomorphism and also again you get compatibility with stratifications and uh, the compatibility with the forgetful maps to to MGN bar. Okay, so I see that I'm uh, over over time. So I, I'm I don't think I have time to talk about the, the the last part of the talk, which would be like the, what we're doing now, and it it is just making uh, connections of these uh, of these all these categories with. Uh, uh, recent construction of, uh, of Sam Mulchu and Jonathan Wise um, in, yes, uh, and well, it comes maybe for, for next time. <laughs> Thanks for your attention. Thank you, Margarita. So are there any questions or remarks for Margarita? So uh, I have a question, Margarita. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, many questions actually, but uh, so one is the following. Uh, so it is natural to consider the spin case. I mean, you can uh, consider the modular space of, space of spin curves. Um, yeah. And uh, are you, um, I mean, um, do you think there are some obstruction to extend what you did for the the Jacobian um, for the spin curves, or you think uh, first of all, if you you see any obstruction, and uh, if this setting could help to handle the the sign, uh, you know, this this um, problem with the signs and so on. If, if you think that it could be uh, easier to consider this this setup of uh, stacky stacky. Uh, set up or or not? I'm not sure about the signs. I I, I think that for in, in so from the point of view of construction, I think like the non-Archimedean setting is just it, it, it will just follow as as you expect. It's it's the same, and I think the the logarithmic as well. So you, you I, I think that all of this will will work as well for for spin structures or other things. Where we where we have like um, a stratification, like a, a toroidal stratification in the boundary that is uh, well usually compatible with this retraction. So I think this this would uh, work. I I'm pretty sure, uh, but I I don't have any idea how could this be helpful from the point of view of, 
of the, like distinguishing the quadratic forms. I think it's 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 what you yeah. it's what you mean because um, yeah, I, I yeah, think because the so, language, the language yeah. is a, a bit different in your setting, so maybe yeah. I don't know how to recover this. I, I don't know. Better. Yeah. Yeah. I have to say I didn't think about it, but I, 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 I'm, I'm not sure how could this be approached. Yes. And I mean, have you some um, um, results, or, or do you think uh, there is some something related to Abel maps in what you did? I mean, uh, uh, you know, mm -hmm. uh, we use it the tropicalization and of the tropical setting to give a, a resolution of the Abel map. Are you I mean, mm -hmm. do you feel that you can simplify or, or did something similar with this techie approach? So I, I, I don't know. So what I can say is that, uh, so what I, what, I, what I didn't talk about, which is this, um, the, the, the relation with the, this work by Mocho and Jonathan, I think this gives a, a nice way to understand the uh, to, to understand compactified Jacobians where you have stability conditions which are not uh, gen generic. So when like like the ones that you um, that that you consider like for genus uh, like for degree g um, g minus one or something, well there you have a nice picture already from the tropical point of view that that uh, that you guys um, explained but uh, what we can maybe try what I think we this this setup gives a better way to understand the wall crossings between um, so between the different walls you see because you have like a, a a big space where everything where where you have everything uh, close together and you don't have to to consider different spaces it's everything in in a one space and the walls we really believe that this can be treated using this 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 uh, setup together with with your uh, subdivision descriptions and and everything so i think this can be helpful for for to understand um the ramification cycles or, or or abel maps or things like that actually yes but but we we didn't look at that yet yeah. okay thanks so more questions these were a lot of yeah. cate different categories sorry but <laughs> <laughs> So if not, let's yeah. thank uh, Margarita again. Thank you.